Hello everyone, welcome back to the Learning Sublimation with Lori YouTube channel. For those of you who may not know, I'm Lori, and for the past four years, I have partnered with Sawgrass as a brand ambassador, and in that role, I teach you how to navigate through the Sawgrass programs. Now, it's been a little more than two weeks since Sawgrass announced that they have implemented a way for us to take our saved creations in Creative Studio and export them out in a way that we can now upload them into the new design program, the My Sawgrass Design Tool. Now, this process, I knew it was happening, but they exceeded every expectation that I had. It is absolutely phenomenal. Quick, easy, very simple to do. Now, as we go along, I am going to give you a little bit of the why behind each action. I am a firm believer that if you understand why you're doing something, you learn it quicker and retain it longer. So let's go ahead, let's jump on into Creative Studio and export some files. Okay, here we are in the computer. So before we begin that export process, we do just wanna double check and make sure that we are running a version of the Sawgrass Print Utility that is capable of completing that export process. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to double click on our print utility icon and this is going to launch the program for us. Now, many times when you launch the program, you will get a pop-up message letting you know that you are running the latest version of the software. And if you get that pop-up, you are good to go. You can just close out of the program at this point. If you get a pop-up message that says you need to do the update, you want to go ahead and you want to do that update now because you need those extra features to be able to complete this process. If you got that, up, that pop-up and you clicked on the update later button, you will see an orange dot near or on your settings button and you're again going to want to go ahead and do that update. Go ahead, do the update, and then afterwards, you just want to reboot your machine and make sure that those changes did take effect. That update, like I said, you can do it right from within the program, and it's very quick. It only takes about a minute. So if you're unsure, we want to just double check our version, and we can do that by clicking on Settings. And under the general tab here, it tells us our version and 2024.6.0 or higher is what we want to be running to be able to complete this process. So our version is all good. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into Creative Studio and let's export some files. I'm just going to close out a print utility. Okay, so this is the Creative Studio landing page. We really don't want to do anything from this area. We want to be in the actual application. Now, something that is kind of confusing some folks. So let's go over that first. We have always had this download button Nothing has changed with the download button. It still only produces a low resolution mock-up file. So for this process, we don't use that download button. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use this new button that Sawgrass has added. It is the export button. This is what we need to use in order to complete this process. Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, we need to go into our saved creations. Now, I have heard um, some folks ask, why do we have to do this one file at a time? Well, it's this step that I'm going to show you right now why we need to do each design individually. Now, I've moved some designs to my favorites folder 
just to conserve time. So I'm going to open my hall pass file. Now, when we export the file, it is going to create what's called a flat PNG. It is going to be all one layer. We lose the ability to edit our different layers. So we want to go into each of our projects and remove any item that we may want to change later. So for example, I'm going to make this hall pass for many other teachers. They're not all going to be named Mrs. Smith. So I'm going to click on that and remove that layer. Then room 202, I'm going to click on that and I'm also going to remove that layer. Those items can be added later when we bring the project into the new MySawGrass design tool. Now that we have removed every item that we may want to edit in the future, we are going to click on this export button. Now it is going to bring up the Save As dialog box if you are on a Windows computer. If you are on a Mac device, it is going to download it directly to the download area of your hard drive. For Windows, it's going to bring up this name. You see that file name there? And we can leave it as that number or we can rename it something that we will remember or that makes sense to us. So I'm going to name that Hall Pass 2. Now the file type, you want to leave that alone. It needs to create that Sawgrass job and it's going to be an SGZ file type and all that is is a proprietary file type that Print Manager needed to create our print file. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to now save. And you can see that SGZ file has already downloaded to my hard drive. So now we're going to minimize this and we are going to launch the print utility. And then we are going to click on Create. And you can see here that SGZ has been added as a compatible file type. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Add Files. I'm going to go grab my file and I'm going to click Open. And now my file has been brought in, but it is still an SGZ file. In order for it to become a PNG file, I'm going to need to click on this down arrow. So we're going to click on that. Once again, Windows users will get that Save As dialog box, and it will give it a name automatically. You can leave it as that name or you can edit it. So we'll just call it Hall Pass 2. And then that file type. Again, we're not going to touch that. We're going to leave that be. And then we're going to click on Save. Now that is saved to our hard drive. We can minimize this bring up our new My Sawgrass design tool. I've already launched the program and I just opened a coffee mug template so that I had the program open. Now I'm going to click on upload file. I'm going to click on upload image. I'm going to click on hall pass to click open. It's going to ask me to put it into a category. I'm going to put it in BHS, that's our school system out here. Then I am going to click 
submit. And now this item is in my design tool account and can be used for future projects. Very quick, very simple. Let's try that one more time. Let's do it again, only let's use a design that has photos. We all remember that we need to take text off of items, but sometimes we forget. We want to remove those photos as well. So here is a sock design that had some photos. Now we're going to remove all the layers involved with the photos. In Creative Studio, we had to have these overlays, these masks to create that heart shape. We're going to get rid of that. We don't need, we won't need it. And in the new program, trust me, to get that effect, it is so much easier. We're just going to click to delete all of these. And now we have a file that we can add those photos to later. We're going to click on export. And we'll just give it a name or again, you can leave it as that number. It is up to you. Do not touch the file type. Click on save. already downloaded. Now we're going to launch our print utility. You can either click create or since there are, is a tab open you can actually click on the plus and it will give you a new tab. Click add files. Grab that sock file. Click on open. Once it's open, we can download. Click Save. And it is ready to bring into the new program. There we go. And there, it's in the program for us to use. Now, one other thing I do want to point out is when you are at this step, when you have brought the file into the print utility, if you didn't need to edit anything, you didn't, you could actually just print that SGZ file directly at this point, you could set it up, set up your print job, pick all your settings, and send it directly over. Now, let's go over one last thing in Creative Studio. I have heard many people ask the same question, and that is, will there be a process to bring over any items that we have saved in our galleries? And the answer is no. And why not? Because we don't really need it. Now galleries, that area, those items are things that you uploaded from your computer hard drive into your Creative Studio account. Now I understand hard drives crash, files become corrupted, and maybe you don't have access to all of those files anymore. It's okay. We can still use this export feature to get those images from galleries and convert them. So what I do is I open a custom canvas, set it to inches, and I just make it like 9 by 8.2. Create that, then go into your galleries. And again, I've moved things to my favorites just in the interest of time. Click on that. Grab the file that you no longer have access to on your hard drive. Put it on a custom canvas. Now, you don't even have to save this. 
That's why we can use custom canvas. Once it's on the workspace, it can be exported. I'm going to click on export. give it a name and click on save. And then I would go into the print utility and do that conversion process. Now, I timed it last night from start to finish when I am not talking to guide folks through it. It only takes 53 seconds for you to grab a file, remove the portions that will need to be edited in the future export and convert 53 seconds. It's going to be very quick, very easy, and you can work at your own pace. So once you have started the process, my thinking is concentrate on exporting the files. You can export all of the files, have them on your hard drive, and then convert them as you need them, or then do the conversions all at once. Get the items out of the program and then worry about that conversion. As for losing access to some of your items, for the future, what I do and what I strongly recommend everybody does is protect your artwork. That's your business asset. If you're just a crafter, that's still, that's your crafting tool. Once you have all of those files out of the program, get yourself a thumb drive or an external hard drive and back those files up. Save a copy of the PNG. Save a copy of the Sawgrass file, the SGZ. Save all of those so that if anything happens on your hard drive or whatnot, you have have them and you can use them in the future. There you have it. 53 seconds is all that it takes to export those files out of Creative Studio. Very quick and very easy. Now remember, concentrate on exporting those files out. That's the part that has that February 1st deadline. And then remember to back up those files just in case something happens to your computer hard drive in the future. You don't lose access to them. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the description area where I'm going to leave you some links. The first link is to my Facebook page, Learning Sublimation with Lori. And on that page is where I share all the latest Sawgrass news. Then there is a link to our Facebook group, the Sawgrass Product User Group. And in that group, we help you with all your Sawgrass issues, encourage you, and just help you along on your sublimation journey. All the Sawgrass information shared in that group is checked with Sawgrass first. That way we know that the information you receive from us is absolutely up to date and accurate. Then that last link, that is the pre-registration link for my Thursday night workshops. Then in those workshops, I teach you how to use the My Sawgrass Design Tool and Print Utility. All of my workshops are 100% free, 100% of the time. There is never any charge for My Sawgrass content. So go ahead, go ahead and join those groups, follow my pages, and let's get to exporting those files. See you later, everyone.